Today we're talking about prayer because Jen, you love to pray and yes. it's something that you do every day. Mm -hmm. And yet so many people are afraid to pray or they think it's hard or boring. And so we just want to talk about prayer today because Jen, you'll often say prayer is the best part of my day. Mm -hmm. And when you pray and talk yes. to God, what do you think about? I just think about how I'm crawling up into the lap of Jesus and talking to my best friend. And it is something that I always look forward to being a part of. I think, you know, prayer is God's gift to us. It's a privilege and it's all about having a relationship. It's not fancy words. It's just talking to him as if you would talk to your best friend. And Jen, I know you often say that to me. I just love yes. the picture that Jesus is yeah. standing beside mm -hmm. me and yeah. I'm holding his hand and I'm asking him for what I need. And Jen, there's many days that you just pray out loud and talk out loud to God. And I've heard you say before, Lord, whisper hope in my ear. Oh, and yes. when you say that, what are you asking God to whisper to you? Well, I'm just asking God to tell me that I can do it, that I can make the finish line, that He believes in me and that He'll help me have His strength. And I just ask Him to tell me that I'm pretty and that He'll help just fill me with His strength. So Jen, I thought maybe you would like mm -hmm. to pray over whoever's listening today oh, yes. that God would whisper hope in their ear. I would love to. Let's pray. Dear Holy Father, we come before you, Lord Jesus, and I want to uplift my dear friend listening to you this day. Help them to know that they don't have to go through life on their own, and that you want to bless them beyond measure. Please whisper your hope and guidance to them this day, and we praise you for the power in your name when we cry out to you, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. To your name, Father God, amen. Amen. One of my favorite scriptures is Isaiah 41, 13. And I love to claim this almost every day. And it says, I am the Lord your God, who takes hold of your right hand and says, do not fear, I am with you and I, am, I will help you. And so today, as you're going through the day, just picture that Jesus is right next to you. Mm -hmm. There's many days when Jen will say, mom, if you need joy, just ask God, just ask God for what you need. And there's another scripture in John 16, 24, and it says, until now, you have asked for nothing in my name. Ask and you will receive that your joy may be complete. And so often we have not because we're not asking God for what we need. And so today, I just want to encourage you to ask God, what is your biggest need today? What do you need to hear from God? Um, you can ask him. Jen, what do you need to hear from God today? Hmm. Well, I just need to know that God is with me and that He will help me have a strength and courage that He believes in me. I think it's so cool to know that we don't have to go through life on our own and that we have someone directing our footsteps every single step of the way. So we'd love to hear from you. If you could comment on the blog and just let us know, what do you want to ask God for today? Maybe you need courage. Yeah. Maybe you need wisdom for a big decision. I know I'm asking God just for his strength mm -hmm. because there are um, some days lately where I've had a lot of headaches. And so I'm just asking God, give me your strength today. Give me your energy today. And so we'd love to hear from you. Jen would love to hear from you on the blog and just let us know what it is that you're asking God for today. And he wants to come to your rescue and he loves you so much.